Hello, hello, hello. Come on in, people of God. We are finally on night 30 of our 30-day social media revival. My apologies to everyone. I was out of the uh, country ministering. So in certain places, uh, in certain areas, I could not get connection. So I'm sorry, you guys, for the delay. But it's okay. We are here now, night 30. Night 30 of our 30-day social media revival. I'm still standing. I'm excited for the prophet, the man of God that is coming on on tonight. Come on in, people of God. I need you to hit tag and share. Come on, come on. Let's get all of our hellos and how you doings out the way. Uh, we are on night 30 of our 30-day social media revival, wrapping this thing up, people of God. So I need you to come in and tag as many people as you can tonight. Tag 30 people because that's the number. Remember, on tonight, 30 people you love, 30 people you care about, 30 people that you want to motivate. You guys, I know you've been, uh, uh, you know, going through some things. I know these last 30 days has been a push, people of God, because it's been one for me. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'm believing something amazing. It's about to happen tonight just because we are on night 30. Again, people of God, my apologies to everyone. I was out of the country uh, ministering, so certain areas did not have service. So I had to push it back to today when I landed. Uh, the Bible says that where two or more are gathered, uh, 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 that God is in the midst. Uh, and people of God, listen, I need you very quickly to stop what you're doing and tag 30 people. I need you to share this live into groups because we are going out with a bang. The enemy was upset. He came in the airways and tried to deal with the connection, but he did not know that this was going to happen regardless. So I need you to tag and share. I see some people putting up crying emojis to whoever you are right now. You are in the right place at the right time. <clears throat> I'm believing this prophetic word is about to shift something. The first seed you can put in the ground is by simply tagging 30 people. I'm believing after this live tonight, within the next 30 hours, God is going to do it for you, the one that's watching this video. Uh, come on, let me give some shout outs right now to some people of God right now who are obedient. Come on, come on, come on. Keisha Washington, thank you for tagging and sharing. You need chat. That's the way to do it, baby. Come out swinging. Blessings on you for tagging and sharing. Uh, Don Campbell, blessings on you, woman of God. I know you're going to come in tagging and sharing. Listen, night 30, night 30. Come on, I need y'all to push. Uh, got my everything. I see your crying emojis. Woman of God, God is up to something tonight. Begin to tag and share for me. Tempest Lucas, blessings on you for tagging and sharing. My big sis Tip is on. Blessings on you, sis, for coming in, tagging, and sharing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sheree, yes, could you tag and share for me? Blessings on you, Samantha. That's the way to do it. Brandy, blessings on you for tagging and sharing. I see that Daisy just jumped on. I love you, queen. Come in, tagging, and sharing. Come on, people of God, I need y'all to push a little bit. Y'all know I can't bring the man of God on until everybody's on here. Who's supposed to be on here? Pretty Diamond, I see you here. Blessings on you, sis, for tagging and sharing. I love her. I love her. When I tell you, we, we get on the phone and she be like, sis. People be saying this and that about you. And I be like, y'all don't know this girl. She changed her life for real. Listen, that's the kind of people God is connecting you with in this season. People who can defend you. You better get what I'm saying. When you're not in their presence. Shout out to you, sis. Shout out to one of the best bakers I know, Shalanda. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on, push a little bit. I see my babe Brandy on. I love you, sis. Tag and share. Tag and share. Jennifer, blessings on you. Tagging and sharing to one of blessings on you. Come on, for just another 120 more seconds, if you can just keep going crazy. We are on night 30, people of God. We got to go out with a bang. Come on, I need y'all to push a little bit. Push a little bit. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard what God is about to do for everybody who's tagging and sharing. I see my sister Delisa just jumped on. Come on, people of God. Thank you for tagging and sharing. There goes Shanita. Come on, come on. Oh, I feel my help coming in now. All my people who've been rocking with me for day one on this revival are here 
Prophetess Natasha, hello. I love you, sis. Tagging and sharing. Come on, come on, push a little bit. A man of God, if you can do me a favor. Oh, I see the request. Hallelujah. I'm excited about the word of God on tonight. I'm excited about what God is going to do on night 30. I'm excited about the way God is going to move on night 30. Prophet, man of God, blessings on you. I want to thank you again for being patient. Uh, I know you adjusted your uh, schedule and we could not get on, but I'm excited about what God is doing on night 30 of our 30-day social media revival. So, Prophet, I'm going to back up uh, so I can begin to tag and share myself uh, so God can have have his way hallelujah blessings good evening can you hear me good great perfect all right good evening to everybody that is on we are so grateful again for night 30 of course better is the end of the thing than the beginning you might as well yes. go ahead and just start beginning to declare and decree now that god is getting ready listen to me he's getting ready to not only to shift some things but he's going to establish some things this is a season of the time that i'm just not moving but i'm establishing you got to catch this in this moment in this season the god says i'm not just moving but i'm establishing that's why i'm allowing you not to just have warfare but inside of warfare i'm releasing strategies and this is why i'm interrupting your sleep this is why I'm interrupting your patterns this is why i'm letting you feel what you feel because i'm putting you at the heartbeat of the father Father. And God says, I'm getting ready to pour out my spirit. Let me tell you something. Over the next six months, you're going to see an outpouring like never before. Can I go ahead and decree to you now? The spirit of the living God is getting ready to outpour. He's going to pour out his spirit on you mm -hmm. on another yes. level. I need as many of you that can mm -hmm. go ahead and type it in the comments. He's getting ready to pour. He's getting ready to pour. You need to catch this moment because inside of this pouring is not just strength, but this is strategy. You're going to know exactly what to do. You're not no, no longer going to be, be limited to have perspectives. God says, I'm opening and I'm giving you insight. I'm going to cause okay. you to see into no more just going through the motion, no more to just having church, no more to just walking around here dancing, shouting. But God says, you're getting ready to be a people of movement. I'm getting ready okay. to use you. Listen to me, not just in the church, but in the market. Here we, God said to me today, he says, I'm getting ready to release another level of a market anointing. Oh my God. I never understood what that means. Listen to me. Out of 130 something appearances of Jesus, 100 and about 24 that were in the marketplace, what is he telling you? You got to get out the building. Lord have mm. mercy. He said, You got to get out of the building. This anointing that I'm getting ready to pour into you, this is attached to your co workers. These are people that are in jobs and in places. It's in Walmart, it's in Target, it's in wherever you shop. Literally, people are getting ready to meet you. And by meeting you, God's going to use you to change their very life you're going to come in into an encounter and this is why you're going through what you're going through because you're getting reintroduced to yourself and to the world do you hear me many of you do not understand god is reintroducing you to yourself and to the world you have seen it the same but god says you got to see it different and i'm pouring out fresh oil fresh oil night 30 tonight it's not just about a good time but tonight the cry is fresh oil fresh oil oil i want it fresh i'm not crushed for no reason i'm not yes. pressed for no reason i'm not being given wisdom for no reason all of the strategies all the things that i've been releasing to you is because you're coming out fresh and this is why some of you i've had to pull you to myself you're not being lonely god says you alone ah, you're not lonely you alone you alone you alone you alone you're not lonely you alone i'm pulling you to myself and why am i pulling you to myself because i gotta do intimate time i gotta pour into you I got to let you deal with some stuff that you've been ignoring. I got to deal with the core of some things that you thought weren't there. And this is why some people are frustrated with you. They're frustrated with you because guess what? Their access to you is over. Lord, help me here. Jesus. They're mad because you've had to kill and kill access. And God says you cannot be upset that you had to cut down some of the access because it's in value. Listen to me. You need to catch this. Everybody that's on here tonight, God says, I'm planting people around you who will no longer depreciate or devalue value what you have to offer no more mediocre minds set around you and you got to stop apologizing for who you got to let go you got to stop apologizing for who you can't let to and some of you god says i'm getting ready to heal you in some of the great depth places of your heart he said that's why you've been crying because you're grieving growth ah 
You're grieving growth. That's why you're crying. You're crying because you're grieving growth. You're crying because this part of you has had to happen. This part of you is because of what I'm getting ready to cause to happen. All things cannot always be easy. I have to put you in a place where I have to break you and mold you. Notice this. This is not in my passage of scripture tonight, but notice this. He said, every branch that abideth in me, watch this. He says, I cut it that it may bring forth more fruit. Uh uh. I got to say it again. Every branch that abide in me, I have to cut it so that it can bring forth more fruit. Hear what I'm going to tell you. You are in, you have been in a cutting season so you can increase. Mm. Mm. You have to be cut so you can increase. Listen, mm. listen to me. Some of you, you're crying. You've been sad. You're like, the devil been fighting me. God says, this has not been the devil. This has been me. I've been mm. cutting you. And here's what I got to do about cut, cut it. When I cut you, it's because I see some stuff that you're trying to live with that you don't need. Do you hear me tonight? I, mm. I need you to write that. Some of you need to type that in the comments. God is cutting away what I don't need. There's some people that I thought I needed that I didn't need. It. There's some resources that I thought I was going to have to have. I don't need it. God is showing you that I'm raising up people. I'm raising up people. I'm raising up strangers. I feel this anointing right here to tell you. I'm happy too early. I came to tell a few of you. God says, I'm going to call strangers to start pouring into you. Oh my God. I'm going to call people who never met you before, but that one encounter with you, that one meet, that more person, they're going to start pouring. Hear me tonight. God says the heavens have been opened up for divine resources and connections, and they're going to be healthy connections. These are not going to be people that's going to drain you. And here's the lesson about it. These are not people who so much need you, but what you have is going to shift their life. What you have is going to change where you're headed. God says, get ready for the poor. Get ready. Go ahead and just, I need to see some hearts on here tonight that says, poor, 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 poor. I feel it right here. Poor, poor, poor. The time has come. The time for pouring has come. Your time has come for the living God to pour on you. And I come against every area of your life that's been cursed, that's been Please. hindered, that has stopped your progression, that has made you feel that God has done with you and that he doesn't have more to do. The devil is a liar. God says, mm. I'm aligning things up in your life. This is not about loneliness. This is about alignment. This is yes. not about destroying you. This is about reconstructing you. This is not about, about the end. This is about rebuilding you and molding you and making you. And Jesus. before I let your purpose die, I call you to myself. God says, I caused them to betray you just so you can live. He said, I caused them to do things to you. What you think plotting and planning against you. He said, I set it up. It's been all me. It's been all me. I came to tell a generation of people on here tonight that you've been saying it's the devil, but God says it's all me. It's all me. Yes, it's been Lord. all me. It's been all me. It's been all me. It's been all me. It's been him. It's been him. It's been him that has been doing this. And so if we're going to get to this next dimension, if we're going to get to this next level, here's sis tonight with the spirit of the living God says to tell the people tonight, we must end in faith. Oh, Lord, help me here. We cannot just have declarations, but we have to end in faith. I came to tell many of you that are on tonight that if you're ready to see it happen, it has to be done by faith. I need you to put that in the comments. By faith, I receive it. By faith, I got my miracle. By faith, my mind is renewed. By yes, faith, God. I'm restricted. By faith, I got newness. By faith, I'm healthy. By faith, I got the right, right connections. By faith, the just shall live by faith. It's a faith walk. Yes, it is. And God, tonight, I trust you. I trust mm. you even when I couldn't trace you. I trust mm. you when I didn't understand. I trust you when I was confused. I mm. trust you. And hear me. Some of you, you need to go down memory lane. You know what it's like to trust God and don't have what you have now. Lord, help me Jesus. here. Go back to the seasons and moments in your life where you don't even have what you have now. God says, if I did it, Great like that. What do you think I'm getting ready to do now? It's a faith level. I want you to know it's time to exceed, to accelerate at the next level of faith. Here, here's what I want to give you tonight because I don't just want you to be excited, but I want you to get this. By faith, I receive it. By faith, I receive it. Here, here's, here's what you got to catch. Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. 
Mm-hmm. Why is he saying now faith? Now is a continuum. What is he saying from, from the previous chapter? Because I've been justified. Because I've been justified. I, I've been justified. What does it mean to be justified? I need y'all to catch this. I need you to tell every accuser that even though I've been guilty, it's not going to stop his goodness. I, I need you to catch that. You, you, need to, you need to write that on the screen. Even though I've been guilty, it's not going to stop his goodness. There's some stuff you have done in your life and many mm-hmm. of you don't think it can happen that good cannot happen to you because of the mistakes you made because of the things you've done but I came to liberate about a few of you tonight to tell you the devil is a liar God Jesus. said what happened to you it was nothing but a setup. I got something for you I know it was crazy I know it was a bad decision it may have been a bad marriage it may have been a bad relationship it's been a bad place but it does, you know, it's not going to stop the goodness that I got for you you're about to Catch it tonight. I feel the Holy Spirit saying it's not gonna stop my goodness. You got good things happening for you. You got good things, good things, good things. God says, I'm pouring out good things. I'm pouring, I'm pouring out. You need to get it out your mind that you're gonna be punished. God said, I'm not punishing you, I've just been pruning you, but I'm preparing you also for the next level, for the next thing that I'm getting ready to release to you. Can I tell you again? I haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Get ready for this next level. Get ready, get ready. My my mother mistake does not change his goodness towards me. Here it is. His, 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 his goodness is not changing. I mean, my mistake doesn't change his goodness towards me. And so because I've been justified, what do you mean I've been justified? God's going to treat me like I didn't do it. <laughs> I, I, I need you to catch this. That, that, that I, I deserve death. I deserve penalty. I deserve punishment. I deserve to be cut off. Lord, help me here. But he said, I'm not going to cut you off. I'm going to be good to you. Oh, Lord, help me here. I'm going to show you that I'm greater than your mess. I need you to put that in the comments tonight. God is greater than my mess. God is, God is greater than my mess. He's greater than your mess. He's greater than the things you thought crazy than the things you've done crazy. And let's be honest for just a moment. We have this propensity to always hold ourselves hostage because we're trying to measure up ourselves to see how good are we to deserve it. And God says it wouldn't be grace if you deserved it. Oh, help me here. It wouldn't be grace if you was good enough for it. It wouldn't be grace. It wouldn't be grace. It wouldn't be grace if you was good enough for it. And so he's doing this because he's good. <laughs> see, that's why you got to get it by faith. Because when you catch it by faith, you understand this ain't got nothing to do with me. This this has a thing to do with God. This is a yeah. God thing. Look, can I tell you, you're getting ready. God finna show your enemies how good he is to you. Can, ooh, you I need y'all to catch that. He said, I'm going to show your enemies. I'm going to show naysayers. It's not that they, some of them are like, they don't deserve that. They'll never get that. God said, don't worry about that. I'm going to show them who I am in your life. And so here's the continue. I'm, I'm pushing this. I, I'm excited tonight. He Jesus. goes, and so he says, he says, because I've been justified, and now because I've been justified by faith, just as if I, I've done nothing wrong, now faith being the substance, the hypostasis of things that are hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For the last 30 days, hear me, you have been putting declaration. You need to put this in tonight. Hear me tonight. Tonight is time to move from declaration to demand. If I'm going to walk in faith, I cannot put faith in it if it doesn't have the ability to respond. God has an obligation to react. God has an, I need y'all to catch this tonight God has an obligation To react I am putting I have faith in him I'm putting a demand On what he said In other words I'm not worrying about it I'm not arguing about it I'm not confused about it You said That you are my healer God Thank you in advance. I'm healed. You you said that I'm the lender and not the borrower. You yes, said it. I'm good. You have to make up in your mind. I'm putting the demand. I, I need to know here tonight who's putting the demand on it. Come on. Come on here. I'm moving from declaration. I've been saying it out of my mouth, but I'm moving in my spirit. God, you said it. You said it. You said it. I won't go without. You said a cattle upon a thousand hills belong to you. You said. You said. You said. You, said, you I'm putting a demand. You have an obligation to respond to your word. And because
because I can demand it, I walk, I talk, and I live like I possess it. Do you hear me? I don't care what your life has been. As of this night forward, you're going to possess it. I need you to catch that. As of this, I'm possessing it. I'm waking up tomorrow, goodness. I'm laying down, goodness. I'm getting up the next day, goodness. Goodness and mercy. Guess what they're doing? They're going to follow me. Those are the twins yes. that you want to follow you. And guess what is going to happen all the days of your life? I need you to put that in the screen. For the rest of my life, I won't be without. Do you hear me? For the Ooh. rest of my life. God, yes, God. some of you, I done brought you out of poverty. And here's what I want to park in and say. I curse the mind Set that will make us stay obligated to systems that keep us in poverty. We wow. are the head and not the tail. Some of you, you have goods, but you keep giving it to the wrong places. Wow. And you cannot, listen to me, you're not going to be able to live free when you are attached to leeches. Hear me? Oh, some of you, my, my, my. Have, it's not the enemy, but there's some people that are attached to you, that are draining you, they're sucking the life out of you, they're not pouring nothing back into you, they're not Jesus. putting nothing there. He Hello, somebody. And God says, what I'm doing to you now, he says, I'm freeing you from the leech. Oh, oh. And here's another thing that I got to tell you. Some of you not only have leech, hear me tonight, people of God, this is why you need fresh oil. Some of you, you have flies in your oil. Mm -mm. God has anointed you, but you have a person that literally comes and loves to drop off mess every time God's getting ready to bless you. Isn't it amazing mm -hmm. that anytime you get ready to increase, here they go with their stench. Here they go with their mess. They like to drop their load, drop Jesus. their waste. But God says that I want you to understand this. Don't negotiate, pour it out. Oh, God says, don't argue, pour it out. Because I want to yes. give you fresh oil. You don't hear me tonight. God says, don't try to use what you've been using. Don't try to do what you've been doing. Because guess what I got? Fresh oil. I got mm. fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil tonight. Fr mm. Fresh oil. Fresh oil tonight. Fresh, fresh oil. Th those are the, you know, I, I, I want to say for the rest of your life, God says, I'm, I'm causing you to be fresh. You, you're not going to be contaminated. Listen to me. You're not going to be consumed. Hear me. I want you to be delivered tonight from every a negative opinion that's been trying to rob Jesus. your mind. I, 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 I counsel I hear the Holy Spirit say, I counsel and I curse every negative word that has told you not to write the book. Every negative word that has told you not to go forward. Every, every person that want to hold you to your past. Every, mm -hmm. I, I hear the Holy Ghost. Every, every person that keeps bringing up what you did and where you've been and, and what you've done. And some of you, you can't move forward because you, you can't see your next because you're still looking at what was. And, God, and some of you, some of you, you're going to have to, this is, this is a hard part, but I got to say, some of you is living in your house and you got to get it out. Oh Lord, help me here. My so you, God, you're gonna have to be okay with, with, with serving and an eviction notice because Jesus. certain things you cannot have in your environment. It can't stay with you. It can't be around you. It's because of where you're headed. And God says, if you put a demand on it, if you do it by faith, that, that, that it's not just walking towards destiny, but it's even making the hard decisions. Faith sometimes says, I got to make the decisions I don't want to. It may mm. hurt me today, but it's gonna help me later. You can no longer have life Jesus. occupying your destiny. You know what the spirit of light why the spirit of lot is dangerous because the spirit of lot is dangerous because lot likes to claim stuff he didn't work for Lot, <laughs> Lot, Lot, Lot. Oh, I, I want to help you tonight. Lot like to claim what he didn't work for. They're only loyal to you because of where you're headed. And a lot of times when people don't Jesus. see nothing for themselves, they want to attach themselves to you. They want to attach themselves. And so you're loyal to your heart for them will keep them in a place because you want companionship. You're afraid to be alone. But God says the place and the people that I have attached to you, they don't need what you have. They just believe in where we're headed. And they say, how can I support? How can I be a part? How can I fund it? How can I encourage it? How can I be a part? Can I tell you? God says, I'm releasing. I need you to catch that tonight. I'm releasing people in your life who will not have this locked spirit. And this is why God will put you in a place that he'll say, cut them off. You say, wait a minute, God. I know who I'm talking to in here tonight. Some of you say, wait a minute, God. We've been in, they've been in my life for a long time. Wait a minute, God. That's my friend. Wait a minute, God. You just don't understand. God, what, what, what else am I going to do? 
God says, cut them off so where I can take you. Cut them off for what I'm getting ready to do. You don't need entitled people that's in your circle. You need people that's humble, that want to see you, that's praying for you, that's interceding for you, that's pushing you, that's not Jesus. gossiping about you. You got some people, they know your business and they're spreading it everywhere. You got to be careful because instead of having intercessors, you have those who want to interrupt. Do you hear me? Know the difference between those Jesus. who have come to intercede and those who come to interrupt. Do you hear me tonight? Know those who have come to intercede and those who come to interrupt. Interruptions are distractions. They don't want to see you get to the next place. They don't. So that whatever I can do to get you off focus, whatever I can do to get you out of place, whatever I can do to get you out of pocket, and if, if I got to pull you with more time, Lord help me here, if I got to take time away from you, time that should be in creativity, time that should be in planning, time that should be in preparing, time that should be in releasing, if I can occupy, if I can take away your time. But can I tell you, I got good news tonight. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to give you redemption of time. Oh, see that you don't, you don't understand. He said, even though you've been wasting time, I'm giving you a fresh start in time. I didn't give you revival because I want you to mess up. I want to tell you that I'm resetting some stuff in your life. And though you thought it was over, it's just beginning. I had to let you go through that so you can get wisdom, so you can get strength, so you can have understanding because of where I'm getting ready to take you because of what is costing you to the next level. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm moving, sis. I'm moving. I'm moving. And so here's what he does. Here's what he does. I, I understand that I have an obligation to put a demand. I'm putting a demand. I'm putting a demand on God. You said it. You said it. You're the Lord that God and healing. You're not a man that you should lie. Neither the son of man you shall repent. Come on. Let me see some hearts on the screen right here. You're not the man that you should lie. Come on. You're not a man. God is not like man that he should lie. Come on. God Jesus. is not like man that he should lie. God is not Jesus. like man that he should lie. Man don't know sometime where he's coming or going. God is not like man that he should lie. God is not like man. Man, man, there's fickleness in man. There's too much. There's too much in us. Hallelujah. That don't have enough. But God is not like man. God is Jesus. a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And now here's here's what's amazing revelation about this though. What what's amazing that that, that as God was giving this to me, he, he said to me, he says very clear. He says very clear. He said, I want you to grasp the son. He says, You do not have enough faith to believe me for what I'm gonna do. I said, wait a minute. I, I, I said, so, but, but, but how do we get this? How do, sis, this is crazy. I, I said, how, but, but how do I get this? He, he says, this is why you need me. <laughs> you, you need me because it's, it, it's a, it's a God thing. So you need a me in you. <laughs> That's why I tell you to pray and ask for more of me because it's going to take me to get what I want to accomplish. Lord, help. I, I need y'all to catch this tonight. This is why he says in this word, he says that the life that I live uh, by the flesh is not, it, it is by the faith of the son of God. M my faith isn't enough. So I need his faith. I, in other words, sometimes it, it's, it's him believing through me. <laughs> it's, it's sometimes it's, it's when I feel like doubting, I got something on the inside of me that's telling me to keep pushing. See, some of you have been trying to figure out how is it that you still been going and pressing it's it's not because of your faith. It's because of faith on the inside of you. Jesus, Lord, help me. It's because of who he is on the inside. He said, even when you felt like not believing, I've been believing for you. That's why I give you my word. That's why I tell you in the midnight hour, don't give up. Don't walk away. Don't throw in the towel. Because I'm doing this through you. I'm doing this through you. I want to say this to y'all tonight. He says, I'm doing this through you. Listen to me on day 30. I need to tell all of you. He said, I'm going to do this through you. I come against that spirit that making you lazy and lackadaisical. And some of you who've been putting up plans and been packing them up and said, I'm done. I, I, I deal with, I'm feeling in my spirit. I'm dealing, I'm feeling emotional fatigue and spirits of those that are on, that are tired. They've gone through the motions. They made it through. You no church, but you've got exhausted, exhausted with life, exhausted with responsibility. And God says tonight, I'm telling you tonight that you can't throw in the towel. I'm going to do this through you. I know you don't have enough, enough strength, but I am your strength. I know you don't feel like you are enough, but he says, I am enough on the inside of you. For greater is he that is in the world, that he that is within you, that is in the world. Hallelujah. He's greater, greater than every opposition, greater than every problem, greater than everything. I'm great to you. I'm, I'm greater to you. And so here it is. I, I, I'm, I'm coming down now a little bit.
bit, just a little bit. And, and so he, he takes this, he, he takes this. And, and so the, the, the text progressed, the text progressed. And the more you read, always look at the word as progression. The more, the, the more you read, the more he's saying as he's illuminating your mind and he's changing you. Hear me tonight. Hear me. It's, it's a faith thing. It's a faith thing because it's a God thing. But then he goes from telling them that I have this ability. It's the social things, over evidence of things not seen. But watch this. Hear this. This is very clear. Verse number two, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. I need you to catch this tonight. Every secret every inner attachment meaning the people in your inner circle you need to make sure you got mature talkers and listeners Ooh, that's good <laughs> do y'all hear me tonight that's you good. need to reevaluate your circle because some of you have been trying to get outpour and reciprocation from people who are not designed to see on your level Jesus. They cannot, do y'all hear me tonight? For by it, the elders obtain a good report. You need somebody that know how to talk it, walk it, keep moving, despite what I see. The ones who've gone before me have seen goodness. And the ones that's connected to me, we want to see goodness. I need you to go ahead and just get that in your spirit, that everybody that's connected to me in my inner, see, because you got to know who you lead and who you lean on. Oh, Lord, help me here. You got to know who you lead and who you lean on. On. You got to know the difference between who you lead Jesus. and who you lean on. Stop leaning on the people that you've been designed to lead. This is why some of you are tired. This is why some of you are frustrated because you are trying to get support from people you are only supposed to pour into. Wow. You do y'all hear me tonight? You are frustrated. You are tired because you're like, I'm pouring into them, but they're not giving. They don't see on the level you for by it, the elders. There is a mature, there is a people that God attaches to your life, that he assigns to your life, that he plants around you. And here's what they, they're coming with. They're coming with a good point. They got a resume. They got a record. They have a track. Do y'all hear me tonight? Oh, they my, 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 track record. They have a track record. They have a track record of seeing good things from God. <laughs> See, when you got negative people and complainers, every every problem, they always, they never see the solution. They find a problem even with every solution. Do you hear me? No, you no, tell no. them what God wants to do next and they're complaining. It's the same spirit wow. of Miriam. Do y'all hear me? Make sure you don't have a Miriam. God, help me here. Make sure you don't have somebody that is in your ear, that is talking around you, that is speaking. Hear me, some of you leaders that are on tonight, you got to be careful because some of you, you're agitated and you're trying to figure out why the people operate in the way that it's like, I'm trying to pour this way, they're doing this. I hear what I hear in my spirit. God says, evaluate your camp. There's some of you, you have a Miriam in your camp. You have somebody that has a different type of perspective. They are moved by emotions and not by the spirit of the Jesus. living God. They can't see. Yeah, about Lord, help me here. They can't see. They can't see. They can't see. And you trying to figure out why every time God seems like he's releasing and doing something new and better, they are turning to themselves. Check your camp. Check your, hear me now. Check your camp for by it for by it. I'm, I'm moving. I'm almost there for by it. The elders they obtain a good report. All right, here, here's the thing. Here, here's another one. But when you jump down to verse four, the Bible says something very clear, it's very powerful, very simple. The Bible says that God testifies on behalf of Abel. Jesus. I gotta catch this tonight. You've been in revival for 30 days. God says, Shut your mouth. Because I'm getting ready to talk for you. <laughs> Yo, this, Lord, help me here. He says, stop, stop explaining. You don't need to clap back on Facebook. Oh, my, 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 my. You, you don't need to send no text. You, you ain't got to explain to nobody what you, God says, I'm finna, I'm finna speak on your behalf. I, I'm finna put you in rooms 
that they thought you would never get to. I'm, I'm going to put you in places. You don't hear what I'm telling you tonight. This is the Spirit of the Lord says. This is divine expansion. I need everybody that's mm -hmm. ready to expand to write in the comments right now. Expansion just hit mm -hmm. my house. Write it right mm -hmm. now. Write it now. Expansion. Expansion. Exp I need you to write this now. Expansion just hit my house. How I'm expect God is expanding me. Hear me? He's expanding me. There's some people he's taken down, but God says, I'm one of the ones he's going to raise up. Do you hear me tonight? He says, you're one of the ones. And here's what happens. You've been trying to figure out why you get ready to text something and the spirit of the Lord says, don't say it. You try to figure out why you get ready to write a status. And he says, take it off because mm. I'm going to go in places. I'm going to put you in places that I'm going to use my voice for you. <laughs> I'm going to speak. And the Bible says that even though Abel, yet he be dead, he yet speak. God will speak for you. There's something about those that tries to annihilate you, that tries to destroy you. You don't have to clap back. God is my clap back because what you're trying to fight, he'll promote me. Matter of fact, God is so bad that he'll make you bless me and you didn't think you would want to why oh, he'll no. do it in your face he'll show you that there's nobody in charge but him he chose he's literally in charge he holds the thermometer of the heart in his hands he causes men hallelujah to feel a way about you and they don't even know why they say i don't even know why i'm blessing you i don't even know why i'm increasing you i don't even know why i'm sowing into you i don't even know why i'm looking after you i don't even know why i'm supporting you i, I, I didn't even think i would like that but it's something about you. It's something about what you possess. It's something about who you are. It's something about where you're headed. And it's because God says, I'm going to talk Jesus. for you. I'm going to just, listen, just, 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 just hush your mouth and let God talk. <laughs> hush your, Lord, help me tonight. Hush your, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, hush your mm. mouth and let God talk. God, you're fighting for me. God, God, you are fighting for me. God, you are speaking for Yes, Lord. You're, I, I came to tell y'all this tonight. Catch Jesus. This tonight. He's speaking for you. Ah, he's speaking. Give me tonight. Those of you that is on. He, he says, I'm speaking for you. I'm, the, the Spirit of the Lord says, tell you tonight. I'm speaking for you. This is, this is why I got you in worship. Because I'm going to talk for you. This is why I'm changing you on the backside. This, this is why, this is why, sis, that they are having a hard time not recognizing who we are. They, this is why they, they, it's like what what happened to them. Wait, wait, wait a minute, but I, but but I thought their story was this. But you, you don't even understand that that what you read what you read was a page, not the book. You you read yes. chapters, not the conclusion. These were moments. This is all a part, and it's something about what God specializing. Hear me tonight, those of you that are on. He specializes in raising up the rejected and the yes. abandoned and the hurt and the abused. And those that's been talked down on and those that's been cast aside. God says, listen to me. God says, some of the same ones that have rejected you, they get ready to come looking for you. Do you hear me tonight? I'm here, listen to me. And here's why you can't have bitterness in your heart. Because guess what? What's in you is their lifeline. Wow. <laughs> what's wow. in you is their lifeline. What, what's, what's in you? What's in you? See, this is why Joseph can say things like this. What you meant for evil. What you meant for evil. What, what you meant for evil, God's making it good. What we, yes. You and Intended it for evil. You, 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 you thought that you were putting me in the ground to die, but you don't understand that I got an anointing just like Jesus. That when you try to cast me down, I'll be raised up again. That's an anointing that's so in my life. I, I, I'm, I'm anointed Whoa, for this. My, I'm anointed my, my, my. to come back. I'm anointed to come back. I'm anointed that I'm anointed to be resilient. I'm anointed. I've been anointed to do this. And when you have been anointed for this, when you have expanded in this, and God, when He's stretching you out in this, and when He's doing this, He says it's because of what I'm releasing to your life. And, and here's, 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 here's and we're taking it down. And, and he says, but, 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 but then verse six, when I, not only do I go to the places that I'm going to speak for you, verse six, he said, but without this, it's impossible to even please. It's, it's, listen to me. You got to make pleasing God 
a priority. I, I, that's yeah. not the shouting part. That's the principle. We got to go back to that. We, we got to go back to that. We got to make, see, we've been people pleasing, not God pleasing. See, that's a different type of thing. And when we're operating in people pleasing, here's what we're trying to do. We're looking for their affirmation. We're looking yeah. for their confirmation. We're looking for that acceptance. Can I tell you this? When you're pleasing God, you're going to frustrate some people. <laughs> when you're pleasing God, they're going to be mad at you because you're unorthodox. They're going to be mad at you because you're not trapped in their systems. But who are you trying to please? I'm trying to please him. And this is why he says that he that cometh to God must believe that he is. I want to know tonight who has got to you. What have he been to you? What has he always been? But even before you recognize him, he's been a way maker. He's, yes. he's opened doors for you. He's sustained you. He's kept you. He's been a keeper of your soul. You should have been broke down. You should have been over. You should have lost it all. But thank God that he's been to me, even, in I did, even when I didn't realize what he was, even when I didn't understand what he was, yeah. even if I didn't even perceive what it was. He's always been who he says he is. My provider, my help, my peace, my strength, my redeemer, my lifter, my lover, my keeper. He has always been. He has, who is on here tonight? I want to see some hearts right here. Who he has always been. You know what he's brought you through. He has always been. He has Always been. He has always been. Thank you, Lord. Always, always. Some of your testimony were used on drugs. I kept you. When you could overdose, I kept you. Some of you should have had more time than that when you when you was in jail. He, he kept you. He, you remember. You remember those prayers you prayed when the moment you said, God, if you just get me out of this, do, do y'all remember the times that you was in? Some of you, you was in places that were shot up, but you didn't die. You, you, do you remember the times that you was in places that you were in the club and, and you didn't know what was getting ready to break out, but you something about him that shielded you, that Ooh, protected Jesus. you. You the funerals of people that you love, but some kind of way, he let it miss you some kind of way. He has oh, always no, 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 who he is, he has always been, he has always been, he has always, I have never left you, I never forsaken you, folk have died with what you've endured. Folk have died with what you have endured. They have died, but you have endured. Mm. They have died, but you have endured. Here, here's, here's, I'm, I'm bringing it down here. But the, the last thing that he says to you, because it's by faith. By faith, God takes a man, by the man of Abraham, and he says, go sacrifice your son. But if you study in Romans, he goes and he tells the servant, he says to him, he says these words, he says, he says, stay here while me and the lad go and worship. He said, but hear this, but when we return, <laughs> wait a minute, God has set up and told him to sacrifice what was what was once what he was praying for sometimes the test is can you give up what i gave you <laughs> sometimes the test is but faith is saying that you never take what you won't replace <laughs> Do y'all hear me tonight? God is saying, I, I need y'all to catch this. God is saying, remember, I never take what I don't replace. I, I never take what I don't replace. But, but all Abraham knew was that me and the lad, some kind of way, me and the boy, me and the promise, we coming back. I don't know how. I don't know when. I, I, I came to tell of you to you tonight as we as we're closing, we're breaking down that you're getting ready to hit a comeback season. You you, yes, you, 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 
You're finna, you hear what I'm telling you? You're finna bounce back. That's getting ready to be a return. Do you hear me? That's getting ready to be a return. They counted you out. It, it's been crazy, but I needed the test to see, do you love me more than mm -hmm. what I gave you? Do you love me? I done blessed you. I done opened doors for you. I done gave you the promises, but do you love me more? Jesus. Do you love me more? Do you, do you, do you tonight? Do you, do you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. do you love God more? I, I know you, some of you, you got your houses and your cars and you got your this and that. And that's good. That's good. That's so good. That's so good. That's cool. Oh my God. I'm excited for you. But do you love God more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I done promised you a husband, but, but do you love me more than that man? Do, do you oh, love me more my, than my, that my, my. Do you love Jesus me more? Do you, it's a love test. Can you live without it for me? But here's what's amazing. If I promised it to you, I'm a keeper of my promises. Yes, God. It's a promise keeper. God, I need to catch. He is a promise. He's when, when he makes a promise, he's not trying to decide if he if if he's he gonna do this. He's not contemplating in his mind if it's so. He's he's not he's not battling. He's 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 not indecisive mm. about this. He is. Mm. I need everybody mm. on mm. this on this on this thirtieth night. You have heard so much declaration but i need everybody that's on tonight out of an act of obedience i need you to put down in the comments tonight god is a promise keeper i need you to put that now god is a promise keeper god is a promise keeper god is he's a promise keeper He's a promise keeper. God is a promise keeper. I, I need you to write that down. Don't I need you to put it in that this is this is your reminder. Some of you, you got you're gonna have to put this in your in your restroom. You're gonna have to put this in your car. You may get a little sticky note. You're gonna have to, you may have to put it on your journey. You may have to text it. You, you may have to put it somewhere where you're always going to look, wherever you read in your Bible. I need you to open it up for the next few days. And remember, he keeps his promises. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. You promise keep, you don't break. You are not slack concerning your promises. God is a promise keeper. He is. He's a promise keeper. Hear me tonight. He is a promise keeper. What are you saying tonight in conclusion? These are all things by faith. Yes. We've gone from declaring to demanding. Yes, you have an obligation. I speak to every person that is on this live right now that you're going to take him at his absolute word yes, promise, keeper. promise keep promise mm. promise mm -hmm. keep for every leader that's dealing with fatigue mm. that has literally got tired mm. while trying to lead i speak the mm. strength of holy it's ghost upon you mm -hmm. i come against exhaustion of the mind i come against that spirit that tries to keep you in the bed or try to keep you lethargic because we got so many people that are leading and depressed the holy spirit says oh. and i'm speaking to you tonight that the devil is a liar you will not walk around and function depressed you're not gonna i i, I come against i speak to even the areas in your life that you have picked up that are unhealthy coping mechanisms. Glory to God. I'm not telling you not to deal. I'm not telling you not to cope. I'm not telling you to have, you got to have balance. You got to have balance. You got to have balance. But I'm talking about the unhealthy patterns and things that you've picked up to escape the things you do because normal, normal frustrates you. Normal makes you tired. Normal hurts your feel. Normal, normal. I come against that now in the name of Jesus. And I speak, reach off. 
Glory to God. I speak charging in the Holy Ghost that your mind is renewed. You're refreshed. I speak it now that you're not going to walk fatigue. You're going to walk in strength. You're going to walk in wholeness. God, hallelujah. If you got to pull away, if you got to rearrange your schedule, if you got to create more time to rest, yes. some of you, you are running on empty because this is real simple. You won't go to sleep. Uh. Some of you, it's real simple. It's no, it's no Greek, Hebrew for this. God says, some of you, you just need to go to bed. <laughs> go to sleep. Rest shall be your portion. Thus said God tonight. I come against. You're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. Mm. I'm throwing a towel. God is sending people around you that's going to help you. That's going to be a blessing. Yes. To you. Yes. Not going to be a burden. God is, God is sending people that's anointed. They don't have resources. They're going to be encouraging you. They're going to be helping you. Listen to me. You're getting ready to get people that are just not vision. They're not just going to be a part of supporting just you and just liking you. They're getting ready to be vision runners. They're going to, they're going to read it and run. Do you hear me? God says, I'm putting readers and runners. <laughs> they're, going to, they're going to read what God gave you. They're going to run with it. Uh -uh. They, they got to read. That's why you got it. That's why I gave it to you so you can make it plain because they got to read it and run. God says, I'm putting runners in your camp. Do you hear me? God says, I'm putting people around you. They're getting ready to run. 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 I know slowfulness this has been crazy that god says but they get ready to run and i've had to replace some people i've had to remove some people and let me tell you tonight tonight be okay with who he had to remove be okay with it stop trying to figure out what you did wrong listen to me he has to remove them so you can get some runners you got to stop babysitting people in this season this is a time wow. that you need freedom to run. i can't babysit you come on because i got to go to the next level you get rid of and runners. He said, I'm giving you readers and runners. They're getting ready to run with it. Huh? He said, readers and runners. They're going to read and run. Listen to me. They're going to read and they're going to run because God has something amazing for you. Listen to me tonight. You, you, there's such an open heaven. There's such an anointing. I need y'all to do this now. I need you. I need you to get a seed. Hear me. Hear me mm. tonight. You need to get a seed of $33 Three hundred, either $33, $330, or 3300 You, you mm. Don't start this. We ain't going through that. Because see, here's what we like to do. We shout, jump, but we don't want to see. see. You got to do this. You got to see. Go right now. Get a seat. And, and here's, you, here's when you're going to see this. You're going to see it into Dr. Secure M. Here, here's the phone number. The phone number is 754-246-0584. I'm going to say it again. 754 754- Two four six zero five eight zero. Listen to me. Thirty three, three thirty, or thirty three hundred. You need, you need to, you need to do that now. You need some. Listen to me. This is, this is about faith. This ain't about trying to get rich. This ain't about. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. This is about faith. Seed now. I told you, we're not putting seed in our belly. We're putting it in the ground. I'm putting Jesus. it in the man. This. A demand. See, God, I'm demanding. I am. De I'm putting a demand. I'm putting a demand. I, listen, when I trust you, I sow. Listen to me. When I trust you, I seed. Seed. I seed. I seed. I seed. I, listen to me. Seed. Don't. You can't just eat. You got to seed. You can't just eat. We have to seed. Do it now. So, I, some of you that I know that are on, God is saying, do it now. You need to move without reservation. You need to listen to me. Anything that God requires of you is always going to be activation out of your element, out of your zone, out of your comfort. Mm -hmm. You got to start doing it. You got to. Uh, you can't see because most of us here's what we sit in there to do we try to contemplate we try to figure out no 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 you ain't got time when expansion is on the rise mm -hmm. i gotta do it do it the just shall live by faith. hear me tonight if you do it by faith it's in faith i'm put into the man god you said it to be so and because i trust the word this is not a gimmick this is not a game it's about seeding into it because i got a harvest i have an expectation i got somewhere mm -hmm. that i'm headed i know what god has released on my life i'm under the open heaven he's pouring out something come on do this Ooh. now do it now don't wait no 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 get it right now do it now right now now is the time don't just sit up don't just soak up the experience don't just get the impartation some of you some of you that some of you you need to see for those who don't have some of you need to see some of you need to see double i told you not just being in the place of giving for you but giving for somebody else we don't have time for that we don't negotiate it with ourselves i trust god that's it that's it that's it see when you see something you want you go and buy it 
Uh uh. See, mm -hmm. when it comes to trusting God, I want it. That's it. I'm not negotiating. I'm not arguing. I'm not fighting with myself. I'm doing it right now. That phone number mm -hmm. 754 246. 0580. Do it right now. Hear me tonight. You want you're seeding into the word of the Lord. You're seeding. Someone is even asking, can someone so for them? Do it. yes, 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 yes. Now, right now, right now, right now. Seed, seed, harvest time. You you listen to me. For the last 30 days, God has been speaking to you. Yes. He's been coming to you consistently. I'm interrupting your media time where you normally scroll and say, I want to pour. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you've been on social media. He says, I've been interrupting your, this is normally your scroll time. He says, but I've changed your moment from scrolling to your pour. I'm pouring into you. I'm pouring in to you see now some of you some of you you god is already anointing you you can do the 3300 you can do it right mm -hmm. now you, you, don't don't play with it don't play i got any nothing to see seed it listen to me seed time and harvest the time is now 754 246 zero five eight zero listen you can it's through zale you can do paypal cash app listen dr shakira m you do not want to miss this woman of god god that's my new sister in the lord we don't we don't yes. we're poor god is doing something he's pouring out his spirit he's enlightening you he's awakening you he's increasing you he's expanding you he's enlarging you but listen tonight tonight seed activates Jesus. God, I hear you. Activate. I hear you. Activate. I'm not paying you for a miracle. No, 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 no. By faith, I receive. I'm seeded because my seed is my faith. Faith. By faith. <laughs> I got seed in the ground. Yes, Lord. By faith. I receive it. By faith. Mm. I receive. Do it now. Do it now. Don't contemplate. Don't be rebellious. Don't be soulful. Do it now by faith. Watch God work. Says I'm turning it back to you. Man of God, prophet, thank you so much for tonight. Uh, if you can tell them how they can follow you on yes. social media or reach you, anything. Yes. Uh, social media, uh, uh, Derek Mercer Ministries. Go to Derek Mercer Ministries. You also my website is DerekMercerJr.com. I've also been blessed to write recently. Uh, this is this book here is my fifth book to leadership. There, there's some of you, uh, those of you that are in leadership, some of you, you need to get this. And I talk about even also in particular that not leading with your mood, but with your mind. What strategy have God given you? You got to understand that everything now, God is releasing upon you an anointing like the sons of Issachar, that you got to understand the times. Many of us, we're trying to do something in outdated work, with outdated work, with outdated methods. God says, I'm shifting your message. You want to get this? You can get that by going to my website, DerrickMercerJr.com. And also, those of you that have been in a place of a reset, not just starting over, but I need to identify how did I get to the place that I was in? How did I get there? God says, listen to me, until you redefine your why, you can't change what you get ready to produce. Hear me? Mm. Listen, until you redefine your why, some of you, you need to get to the roots. You got to listen. When we deal with the root, God can shift. We start changing and producing new fruit. Do you hear me? But you can get that DerekMercerJr.com. You get on Amazon, wherever. Don't miss this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, sis. Thank you. I'll reach out after, Prophet. Okay. Listen, people of God, this wraps up night 30. I just want to give God all the glory. Night, I'm telling you, it's been a struggle. Y'all don't understand. Even in the midst of it being my birthday, I literally had to stop what I was doing to come and go live at 10 p.m. So it's been a push for me. So many people have been messaging me, Evangelist Shakira, I've been looking forward to it every night. It's, now it's at the end. It is, people of God. Um, I want to inspire you to turn on your notifications. I go live randomly all the time. Um, I have something coming up soon. It's called 10 Nights 
with the prophet where it's just prophets on for 10 nights straight prophesying and bringing a word you'll see the flyer about that uh people of god listen it's been a press the seed amount the man of god said on night 30 and i'm believing as you sow this seed tonight within the next 30 hours god is going to do it he said the seed amount was 33 dollars 330 dollars or $3,300. Some of you say $3,300. It's a bit much. It's a press. I have it. God, should I do it? Should I not? My response is to pray about it. Some of you, you're sowing $330. My response is to pray about it. Some of you, you're sowing $66 because you had to sow for you and somebody else you've been praying for. Be led to sow. Thank you for your seed, Daisy. If you are on here and you sowed, I just want you to comment below. I sowed very quickly. The ways of giving is 75 Four two four six zero five eight zero. That's for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and now Vimo. People of God, if you're so doing cash out, please put in the whole phone number. And to Dr. Shakira M pops up because there are uh, so many fake cash apps. If you did it on 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 um. Zale is going to pop up Gum Ministries, G-U-M Ministries. Shout out to some of the people. I see some of the people on here that I'm taking down with me when I minister in October uh, with Master P and Romeo and Vivica Fox and Eric Thomas. I see a few of them on here. Delisa, shout out to you. Pretty Diamond is on here. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, I see it. the numbers are coming so quickly. Jessica, shout out to you. Daisy, shout out to you. Brandy, shout out to you. Uh, it's a lot of people on here, uh, people of God. Listen, listen, Sabrina, shout out to you. Uh, listen, people of God, put a seed in the ground and watch God work. Put a seed in the ground. Sasha, I see you on. She's going with me. Put a seed in the ground and watch God work. He'll do something miraculous. This was your last night to sow. Some of you have been watching, uh, have been literally every single night you've been on here. You haven't put a seed in the ground yet. Pray about it. Ask God. You don't want this revival to close out without you sowing. Let me pray for everybody who has put a seed in the ground. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, God, the last day, the last night, the last minute, the last second of this 30-day social media revival, I'm still standing. God, I'm asking that every seed on tonight be, Lord God, the final conclusion to the thing they've been praying for we decree and declare that it is complete we decree and declare that it is so that i ask that it come back a thousand fold in whatever area they needed to come back in lord bless everybody who tagged and shared god bless the ones who wanted to give but didn't have it on today father we just ask that as we go to sleep tonight we'll wake up with unexpected miracles unexpected phone calls unexpected checks in the mailbox unexpected good reports new kingdom connections unexpected joy unexpected peace like never before father we thank you as we close this out in the mighty name of jesus we pray Amen. That wraps up night 30 of I'm Still Standing. Uh, people of God, you can follow me on YouTube. If you've missed any live, they're all on YouTube. They're also on my Facebook. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFatton. On Instagram at Evangelist.Shakira. I only have one to Instagram. Or people of God, you can follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. Listen, I be ticking, I be talking. I love you guys. God bless you guys. This wraps up night 30 of our 30 day social media revival. I'm still standing. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Turn on your notifications. So every time I go live, it would alert you. Go to my page, click the notification button. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Take care.